Hi everyone. I'm Raymond. I'm uh, I'm in Tinda, Malaysia for many years, and just recently I'm assisting a DAP in Batukawa. Okay, so I'm assisting them. I give training and I coordinate the Pachaba. And also I attend the postal boat issuance. Okay, so basically, uh, they when they post out, they will have a big uh, post out in a big envelope, which is Ousan, and they put on Gong, and inside there, there's a smaller envelope that's called uh, Sampo Surat B, and some more, even smaller, which is Sampo Surat A, I think it's this about this size only, and inside there, there's a ballot paper. Okay, I don't have a sample to show you, but it's pretty small. So just nicely to fit the ballot paper. So there's a three envelope, big, the big envelope, yellow color, Urusan and Yadipur Angkong. Inside there, there's envelope B, brown color. And then in the, in the envelope B, there is form two, Borang Dua, which is the declaration. And then inside that, in the form borang borang dua got sample A, which is pretty small. Inside sample A, there is a ballot paper. Okay, so you are supposed to to put these two um borang dua and sample A it with the kertas undi inside the um bora, uh, uh, sample B. Okay, the sample B will be send back okay so the subboard uh, sample b for uh, military police and bomba they will send back by a big bag it's a pretty big the bag uh, i don't have a bag to show you but it's pretty big so the bag has a lot okay then for overseas and norm uh, other Portuguese like media and uh, SPR, they were sent to the normal mail. So the that will go into a ballot box, like normal ballot box, transparent ballot box. Okay. Um, the law doesn't say it has to be sealed, but usually it's sealed. Okay, so you put inside the, the box. You put inside the box from the day the issuance the, the the box and the the bag will be there, okay. So they put inside. Then they just the day before uh, polling, the uh, assistant returning officer will send a notice to candidate. The candidate that they, they will tell you when to open the envelope. The envelope is not open uh, before. At the five o'clock, but before counting, okay, it's usually about afternoon, uh, 10 o'clock, uh, it can be 10 o'clock as early as 10 a.m. So they open up, but they don't actually open the sample A, doesn't open, which has a ballot paper that's not open, okay. So they open only the bigger envelope. So the bigger envelope is a borang, uh, sample B, sample B has a borang two. Borang two and sample A. So you as a polling agent are not counting agent yet. It's a polling agent in in Bahasa. It's called agent undi post. Agent undi post. They will show you sample B to see. Uh, you can see whether the serial number match or not. The borang. Borang Dua and Sample A, there's a serial number of the ballot paper. Okay. If inside there, the Borang Dua is not there, Panta reject. If the Sample A is not there inside the Sample B, uh, the small one, Sample A, is inside there, there's, there's don't have reject. If the Sample B has 
borang B, uh, borang dua and ballot paper that is the kertas undi is okay, acceptable, even though the sample A is not there. Okay. Uh, if they found out they only have sample A, but borang dua don't have, what they will do, they just open up the sample A and see whether the borang dua is inside or not. If the borang dua is not inside, then this thing also rejected. Okay. Then after that, we open up the the crani will show you the borang dua, and you must check all the details is there. If the the saksi the witness is not there, pantah reject. Okay, anything they not fill in, not sign, reject. Okay, the number series. If the number series, uh, the borang dua and the uh, sample A not match, they, they will open up the kertas only, but without actually revealing what the vote is, they just open up, just showing, just showing slightly open, showing slightly the serial number only. If the, the serial number match, is still acceptable. Even though the, sum, the sample A is not, not match, but the, the keyword is, the bo the borang dua and the kertas undi the serial number must match okay um but there's a, a the loopholes here uh there is no borang tiga blas so um there is no way for you to actually to tell whether this this thing actually is genuine or not okay it can be it can be possibly fake so the serial number has no way to check. I'm not sure if you can actually uh, ask the uh, assistant RO to actually show the counterfoil, but I don't think they will show the counterfoil. Okay. So as long as the borang sorry borang dua and the uh, Kertas undi match, then it's already legit already. Okay, so, uh, so the sample A and if the, 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 there's no sample A, they will put without the sample A inside the a separate ballot box. Okay, it should stay about 12 o'clock. I think about, can be 10, 12, or can be 3. La. So, 3 o'clock. So, they will, you will witness the Polling agent will witness the opening of envelope. Okay, after after that witness finish, then they be opening uh, sample A also will open again. The one that inside there they open and put inside a ballot box again. Each one, but the, this one they have to make sure they finish all the the opening the the sample B first, only they can actually open the sample A. So, uh, what, because some borang, bor, sample B has a borang dua, which has a particular voter, so to make it secret, so they will actually uh, put aside first, uh, the, 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 they will seal the, sorry, they will seal the ballot box that contain the borang dua. So they will fold the borang dua to inside, which you cannot see it. So you don't know who actually voted uh, holding which ballot paper. So it's separate out. So it's, it's a, somehow it's a secret. Uh. You won't able to memorize all the name and the serial number. Okay, assume that you won't able to memorize. Okay. So then they will open up it and put in the ballot box. But they cannot count yet until 5 p.m. Okay, and there, are, there may be uh, uh, some envelope may be coming, still coming. You need some while you're counting them. Sorry, while you're opening the envelope, there may be new envelope coming. That will actually open later at five o'clock. Okay. 
only five o'clock every everybody close city only then you start counting only then you become a counting agent okay before that before five o'clock you are a polling agent poster polling agent okay uh who can attend there is other than uh election agent candidate a uh, poster polling agent also can attend okay during so it's better that the same person who witnessed the issuance of the um a ballot the the issue of the ballot with the same person who attend also the counting okay so uh the name will be cross so the the person will not able to vote in a normal day and then after that when they come to counting okay i i cover up already okay so uh when when they come to counting the process of counting is same as a normal counting okay except there's no borang 13 there's no borang 14. in here they use borang 754 borang 755 and borang 764p okay and borang 15 so the result is borang 15. okay so, but it's, the counting is the same as normal counting and they will actually open count one by one. You make sure that they count the currently count one by one. If they, they count like that, like that, don't, don't tell you how they count. You, you banta, you say, saya mau kira satu satu, then you count. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, until finish. Then every time they have to, they have to uh, tie it every 10 piece 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 10, you tie it in one bundle one bundle, one bundle okay and then 100 they will have to tie a bigger bundle okay so after that there's a counting process then you, you ask them to show you the uh, the tray, the dulang okay dulang so in there you can see number of ballot okay so before that they will have to fight their fee up uh borang 755 okay for polling agent they'll before they 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 counting their fill up borang 755 will tell you how many piece of uh ballot paper is that okay um usually there will be no extra like this that if the number is not Tally then of course banta. Okay. So then they have counted, then like normal usual way of of uh, 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 accounting, they will just show one by one. They will, they will say this party, party A, party B, okay. You can say um like uh BN, uh PH, like that, they will show. The, the ballot paper okay so then as a uh, counting agent of course you are defending your party so you have tried to make sure that most vote go to your to you okay of course if you can argue if there, there's a point to argue for for benefit of your party of course you argue for the benefit of party yeah okay so anything uh, uh, can benefit your banta, then of course you try to banta so that the vote count more vote counted for your party. Okay, the vote, the vote that goes to the to your party that will go to the 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 tray dulang your party the tray the dulang. Okay, so um the one that you banta the PPP have to put in the uh, Undi Ragu tray. There's a tray that's called Undi Ragu. Anything you banta, they must have. They must put in the Undi Ragu tray. Okay, whoever banta must put in the Undi Ragu tray. Okay, after the, 
the display finish, then uh, the PPP will actually decide this vote, uh, which has ragu belong to the Buku Panduan Pemutu San Undi Ragu. Then he will actually look at the book and they will tell you this this thing according to this book, this ballot should be accepted or ejected or goes to which party, okay? Then they have to read for you and then they go to the, the everything finished, they go to the, to the tray, then they will count again. Uh, count again and tie 10 by 10. One, satu, dua, tiga, empat, empat, ten. They tie it. And then they will, they will show to you this tray or how many, this tray or how many. Okay. But you as a police agent, uh, if you, you can, you tell record how many goes to your party. Okay. How many go to your party, you record now. So that if, a, if it less than that, then you can actually say why why is different from what what is the count. Okay. Of course the, the final say is still with the PPP. Okay. So the, the number must be tally also. Okay. So after they, they tie, then they, they count, then they have to they will fill up uh borang tujo. Uh, 64P. Like, normal is 764, la, but for poster voters, they 764P, which is actually similar. Okay, so that one is called Keputusan Pengiraan Awal. Okay, so that one, and that time, if the, the, the difference between the, the biggest and second biggest, if the number is less than 4%, you can uh, you can ask for recount if you're the, the loser. Actually, if you're 4%, you can ask for recount, okay? If less than 4%, the biggest and the second biggest, if less than 4%, you can ask for recount. Okay, then after recount, recount means they have to display out those inside the tray, each party trade get to display up again one by one. Okay. The one that rejected will not be displayed again. Uh. The one that is not rejected, they will display again. And then they will tie again and they will count. Okay. If there's not if no objection at anything, then they will fill up borang lima glass which is the Keputusan uh, Pengiraan. Borang 15, they were given to each um, agent or election agent or the candidate, they will get one copy. If, we, if the, the candidate did not attend, I mean the, the agent did not attend, then they don't give a copy. Okay, and in that borang 15 is just like borang 14. Everyone must sign. Okay. Only that uh, the term like undi rosa all is is uh, different now. Okay. So it's slightly different, but it's almost the same as borang 14. Okay. Then after that, counting is over. <laughs>